Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a website using Weebly.com. It really is probably the simplest way to make a website. So go ahead and uh, put your name in there. I'm just going to make something up. So I'm going to just call myself Mark Smith. And uh, you can put your real email address in. I'm just doing this for demonstration. So I'm just putting a fake one in. And sign up. It's free. Ooh, it says the address is already taken. I better put some numbers in there too. <laughs> All right. So the first thing it's going to ask you is what do you want? And that depends on what you want. We're going to go for a website. I'm going to make this one on like a teacher website. Um, then you can choose your theme. And you don't need to worry too much about it because you can change it later. Um, so even the pictures that you see too, don't worry so much about that. It's more about the layout. All right. So let's say I like this one. And I can choose the colors that I may want for it. Um, I'm going to go with blue here and hit choose. All right, now the next thing it's going to want to ask you is, do you want to pay for it or not? So you could say register a new domain, but that's going to cost money. So you can find out, oh, is uh, marksmith.com taken? Hey, actually it is taken, but maybe I could put a number with it. Ooh, that's available. But that actually costs money. It's like $100 or more a year. Um, so I'm just going to call this marksmith.weebly.com. says it's taken, so maybe I'll uh, put something else that I'll do Mr. Mark Smith. Um, dot weebly dot com looks like it's available so I'm gonna go with that I hit continue it's gonna ask me like hey can we show you around show you a few things uh, you can if you'd like I'm gonna hit X okay so here's what the website looks like it's what you see is what you get um, and on the left side are all my options so here's my site so I can go ahead and change that mr. Smith's oop website or I could just put Mr. Smith all right and first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go it has the about and contact page already on there and let me show you how to change that up too okay um, so I'm gonna go up to pages here and right now it's called home and that's fine if you want to leave it that way um, and for the about page maybe I'll call this um, my science class and maybe I also teach history if you want to make another page, for example, I could do add a page. And you can choose whatever page you'd like. Uh, I'm going to go with standard page. Um, you can also do a blog. Um, that's up to you. I'll do a standard page. And I'll say, hey, you have a new page. What can I do with it? So page name. Uh, maybe here I'd put uh, you know, useful links. Okay. And here I can choose what the page looks like. Okay. Um, I'll show you an example. I'm going to do no header. and what I can do is I can hide this page and give people links um, so they can see it. And I'll show a little more of that in just a little bit. And they also have um, advanced settings, but I won't worry too much about that. I'll go back to save and edit. So this page, thanks buddy, looks like this. Now there's nothing in here right now, but let's say I bring in an image plus text. I'm going to drop that in there. And it looks like this right now. So I could say here, this is my useful links. Um, and I could say um, help on your essay. All right, and I could put you know bullet points in there. You know, site one, site two, site three, so on and so forth. And for an image, um, I'll show that in a little bit as well. But uh, let me show you the difference between the pages. So if I'm on my home page, you see as Mr. Smith has this big image here, and it's got this button text. And it looks really cool. Maybe I want to keep that. I can edit this image. I can change it. Uh, if I click on edit, I can swap something out, um, like add image right here, add text. I'm going to cancel out of that for now. Um, and I can also drag stuff down here. This is pretty large. And if I go to pages, you can see that um, on the home page, it's on this landing page thing right here. Um, you could do short header. Um, that might make more sense or tall header it's up to you so let me just show you the difference so if I go to short header instead of that big image it's just the smaller one and that's probably not as distracting um, so that's kind of up to you or like my useful links page has no header at all um, so that's gonna be up to you alright so let's uh, put in a put an image in here so I'm gonna click on this right here and it's gonna say hey you can upload one or you can do image by URL so um, I have this picture of the world on, on Wikispaces and if I go over here to original file, this is the actual location of this image. I can copy this link at top. So I'm control C to copy it. Go back to Wiki or my Weebly. And if I go to image URL, that means hey, it's 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 somewhere online that I can use. 
Uh, looks like it froze up. I mean, let me try that again. Here's image URL. I'm going to paste that in there. It says, hey, I'll take JPEGs and GIFs and PNGs. Pretty much almost everything's that way already. I hit insert. And it's going to take a second. And there it is. Um, right now, if I click on it, it doesn't, um, if I were to publish this, um, you could see the difference. Let's do that now, actually. Um, and you could do the same. I'm going to hit publish here. It's going to be mrmarksmith.weebly.com. I'm going to hit continue. And it's going to say, hey, what kind of website is this? And you can say if you want, uh, but you don't really need to. You can say don't ask me or skip. All right, now it's going to make sure that I'm a human. Um, so make sure you type all that in correctly. And 476, maybe. All right, publish my site. And then once this is done, anybody in the world will be able to see it. Um, so there it is, mrmarksmith.weebly.com. It says, hey, good news. You can also you know, have a .com, and if you click that, it'll actually go to showing where you could pay for it. But we just want to click on this link right here. So here it is. This is what it looks like. If I go to my useful links page, here's my picture. Now my picture is like that, and if I wanted to make it so people could see it larger, um, I could, when I click on this image here, I could turn on this light box on. Ooh. And I can also add a link even too. I could go to link and have it link to um, you know, the world wiki page. So I'm going to copy that link at the top. And I could paste that here. All right, Open in a new window. Um, I could also have it go to a file, and I'll show more of that later. All right, so if I publish this, I can see my changes. It's publishing right now. And if I click on this again, or if I'm on that page already, I could just refresh it. Now, if I click on this now, she, it, go, it goes right to this world website. Um, but I didn't, wasn't able to see it get larger. So um, I can turn my light box on, but my link probably won't work then. So you can either do a light box or a link. So I'll show you the difference now. I'm going to publish that again so you can see it. And if I'm in here, and by the way, if you're trying to do all this, I would pause me and uh, try these things out before I go too far. And if I click on the image, it actually brings up a larger image. So it just depends if you want this light box to come up showing a larger image or you actually want to link it to somewhere else. That's up to you. All right, I'm going to close that out. Okay, um, so let's say I do want to you know, help on your essay. Let's say uh, instead of that I'll have assignment one and I'll highlight that. Now let me show you linking a few different ways. I can create a link. So I could do a website again. So like here's my Google Doc and if I go to share I can actually see that I can copy this link right here. I'm going to copy that out. And then uh, I'm going to do it by URL because the Google Doc can be shared as a URL. And I hit save. So that's one way to link it. Here's another way. I could link a file. So if let's say I have a Word document that I want to link instead, I could go upload a new file. And it's going to look on my computer, hey, what do you want to use? And so like, here's my essay.doc. And I'll do it that way too. Um, so my link's there, but it kind of says the wrong thing. So maybe I should change that to assignment two. You can see that this is blue right here. Only that part's linked. So maybe I need to, you know, link that a little better. So again, I could go to file, and it actually has that file already in there. Or I could upload a new one, and I hit save. All right, great. Um, so that works pretty well. Um, and I could publish that and show you what that looks like. Here's my website. I just need to refresh it again. So here's assignment one. I click on that. It goes to my Google Doc. I click on this one, and it goes to downloading one instead. And there it is. It's downloading in my left corner. Works pretty good. Um, so let's go back to, to the pages uh, menu, because what I want to be able to do is have this drop-down box under one of these. So like, here's my science page. So I'm going to go back to my Weebly here. I'm going to go to pages. Here's my science one, right? So I'm going to add a page, standard page. And I'm going to have, like, unit one and I could add another page standard and maybe I'm gonna have unit two okay and for both of these I can choose no header if I want um, but now here they're all lined on the left and if you were to see that that means they're all gonna be at the top right here okay so instead though I want them to be indented so you can just drag it in a little bit and I can drag it in a little bit and now that these are both dragged in a little bit under useful links It'll show under that one. Let's put it under science like I wanted originally. All right, that looks pretty good. And if I go to save and edit, you can see now under science, there's unit one and two. Um, and that'll always show up that way. So here's unit one. I can click on that, and it'll go into there. 
I could also, um, let me show you, go back to pages. I could also um, add a page, and maybe I'll call it um, lesson one or lesson two. If I put that indented even farther under unit one, I'll show you what that looks like. So this is save and edit there. All right, so here's science, unit one, unit two, but unit one has also lesson one under there. So you can have, you know, drop down boxes under drop down boxes uh, as a way to organize things. Um, so that'll be up to you. Um, I like it that way. And if I go to my science page, it doesn't show anything in there because I haven't put anything in there yet. But uh, there's unit one, and I, so I'm just creating pages. All right, so let's create something on my science page. All right, so you have lots and lots of options. Uh, most of them are pretty easy. You know, putting a title in just means it's going to be larger. Um, lesson one, okay. And then I could also just put some text in there. You just drag and drop it and write whatever you want in there. You could say, today we will blah, 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 okay. And um, I could also drop other things on there too. They do have this columns thing you put in there. And that way you can kind of split your page up. And so if I drop text in there, it's only going to show on this half of the page. And, or I could drop text on this half of the page. Uh, so that's kind of useful for measuring things. So that, that one's a title, though. Let's say I don't want something. I don't want this here anymore. It's not the right thing. Uh, a few things I can do. First off, I can drop this. You can do move and copy, which is useful. Or I can grab this, which moves it around. Or I can hit the X, and that deletes that box. Okay. Um, let's say I want to change some of this text. I can highlight it. And there's bold, italicize, all these other good things changing colors, uh, alignment and bullets, points, and remove formatting. And they have undo and redo, which is nice as well. Let's say I want all the text to change, OK? I got some text here, all right? And maybe I, I'm going to put a title over here as well on this side. I have some text there. OK, so I have some text here, here, and I got two headers. Um, if I go up to design, I can actually change the theme or change fonts. You know, I don't really like blue. Let's say I want to go for orange instead. I click on that, and then, you know, my bullets, or not my bullets, my, uh, <laughs> my pages turn orange, and anything else that's supposed to be orange. I can also change fonts, all right? If I change that, I can go to site title, navigation. How about paragraph text, uh, or paragraph titles? If I click on that, you can see it's actually highlighted over here on the left side. I click on that. You can change the size. Maybe you're saying, you know, 24 is actually too large. 18 is just fine or um, the color. You know, I really don't want it to just be black, and that's fine. And they have line height in there as well. It's pretty good. Um, I can go back, and I can change my paragraph text. You know, overall, it's just kind of small all the time. So you know, I'm going to I'm gonna go to 18 and have my line height a little bit larger as well. And you can change the color. Really easy to use. You can change the font as well, all right? And it's really slick. Um, you can look more in there. You'll see more. It's it's really not hard to do. I can also change theme. You know, if I say, you know what, I, I really just I don't like that overall look. I'm going to go with this one instead, and I hit choose. All of this stuff will change, except all of my stuff will stay. Okay, so that's that's a huge plus. Um, so that's going to be up to you. Again, don't worry too much about this picture. You can change it out. So let's say I go down here. I can go to edit image, create slideshow. I can also hit this little thing, and it's, I can say what kind I want. Um, let's go to edit image instead. So I'm going to add an image instead, and I'm going to upload it from somewhere. I'm going to go to my desktop, and I got a uh, farm picture. OK, I know it doesn't make much sense for, for school, but that's all right. Um, so this is going to come in. And basically, this window here is letting me choose what we'll be showing. So I'm going to show basically the farm, part of this road right here and here, and I hit OK. All right. And it's only going to be showing this, all right? Uh, if I hit save, and I can hit save to all the pages, or just save to this page only. Let's just do save to this page only. And I can see that's what it looks like now. Let's go ahead and click publish so, so we can see the changes. All right, so if I refresh my page, everything's going to look different now. But if I go to my science page, it should be a picture of a farm instead. And it is. Um, I will also point out that down here at the bottom it says create a free website. That's, uh, that's going to be there as long as you're not paying. If you want to pay, that I can go away for you, though. OK, what else? There's so much other things on the side here. You can really look at it. A lot of this stuff's really self-explanatory, like slideshows and maps. 
Um, they have dividers and buttons. You know, I, I, I kind of like having buttons. I, I'll put a, uh, I'll put a column thing here at the top. And then what I'll do is you can choose them how many you want. I'm going to go five. And then I could drop buttons under those five if I, if I want to do it that way. Uh, they have a search box. Really cool. They have video. All right. So let's say I want to go to a YouTube video. So I'm going to drop this down a little bit lower here underneath my text. It's just going to be right here. I put that in there and it automatically goes to uh, one of theirs, and that's fine. But you want to probably change it. So if I click on this little button here on the left side, um, oop, not that one, I'm sorry, guys. I think I can just, yeah, I can just click in the middle here. Uh, you can choose what you want it to look like. So let's say I grab one of my other YouTube videos. All right, so I'm going to copy this link here at the top. And then in the Weebly, I can paste it right there. All right, and I can also go to spacing. Like I can say how, how big I want the margins or advanced. You can change the size of it. So let's go medium. Um, just maybe you don't want it that large in there. Okay. And then I can go back here and I can have left side or centered or whatever I want. I'm going to leave it centered. Okay. So I click out of there. And then this thing, if let's say I wanted it under this title right here, though, I should be able to just take this and drag it underneath that title and let go. And there it is on this side instead. So maybe I could say, here's my my lecture for the day. Lecture one. Okay. All right. Um, I think that's about it. Um, there's more things in here. Um, just look them over. You know, you can always Google how to get these to work, but uh, most of them work pretty well. If you're into commerce, you want to go look there. Um, they also have polls in there and everything else, but I believe if you're going to link to Google Docs and YouTube videos and other web addresses, I pretty much gave you everything you need. Um, I hope that's helpful. Go ahead and give it a try. And uh, good luck. Ooh, one other thing. Let's go to settings. A lot of good things in here. Um, you can actually uh, unpublish. So I'm going to go to archive. Here I can unpublish the site. And you may want to do that in case you don't want uh, people to see it or students to see it or whoever uh, at certain times. So I can hit unpublish. Yes, unpublish. And so now you're not going to be able to see my, my website. Um, but maybe I'll leave it up there just in case you want to. So if you want to see this finished product that, that I went through, MarkSmith. MrMarkSmith.Weebly.com, all right, and I'll, I'll leave it open. Um, but uh, just try the little tabs at the top, and uh, it, it's really pretty simple. I don't, can't really screw it up, <laughs> okay? All right, good luck.